Before Oh Young So would take on the role of Player 001 or Oh Nil Nam in the pop culture phenomenon that is Squid Game. I'm just counting the numbers. My doctor said counting is good so I don't get dementia or anything. Before Oh Young So would clock in over 200,000 followers on Instagram at the ripe old age of 76. Okay, it's a fan page, but I still doubt he's got a lot of time for Instagram. So that's still an accomplishment. Before Oh Young So would get offered an endorsement deal from a South Korean fried chicken chain, but would turn down that opportunity and the money to focus on his acting. In his 58 years in Korean show business, this veteran actor has appeared in over 200 plays, dramas, and movies. But it wasn't until Squid Games that he became a household name. Now he's already a famous face in South Korea, often portraying a monk in everything from films to cell phone commercials. And of course, yeah, we found those commercials. No, O has been working as an actor since way back in 1963, and his previous work has mostly included supporting roles, but if you do want to see him in something else, well, check out the 2003 feature film, A Lil Monk. Now, it's about a generation of three monks living in one temple. Then there's another film titled Spring, Summer, Fall, Winter from 2003, and it's about the life of a Buddhist monk. I'm absolutely in love with this guy, so I've been watching all his stuff. I also had a lot of fun making this video, digging up all his old pics and videos. Now, for those of you who have yet to finish the series on Netflix, I'll do my best to keep this video spoiler free. But with that said, it's impossible to talk about Player 001 without getting into the nitty gritty of the show. After all, he was mine and a lot of people's favorite character, and he's pretty integral to Squid Gang. I mean, without him, would it even have happened? We got a lot to get through. My name is Michael McCrudden. Here we go. Young Su was born on October 19th, 1944, which means his 77th birthday is just around the corner. Let's all uh, wish him a happy birthday in the comments down below. Now, back at the time of his birth in South Korea, well, South Korea wasn't even a country. Uh, not like it is today. From 1910 to 1945, Korea was under the rule of Japan. Now, this ended with Japan's surrender following the events of World War II, which happened a year after this man's birth. So technically, he's Japanese in a weird way. But I feel like people get real sensitive about that, so don't tell him I said that. Now, Oe began his acting career at the age of 19 back in 1963 as part of a theater crew called The Square. Now, previous to this, he attended Dung Guk University and he was part of the theater and film department. I myself have a theater and film degree. It doesn't work out for a lot of people, but it looks like it worked out for me and our boy Oe. Not long after completing his university degree, he appeared in his first film titled Gay Village. This was in 1965. Now we tried to dig up a clip, but uh, well, you don't want to see the kind of search results that came up for a film titled GAE Village. I'm just saying. To give you an example though, of what South Korean film looked like back in 1965, well, we did find this. And there's a guy in there who looks a lot like O. He was a member of the National Theatre Company of Korea from 1987, where he remained for 23 years up until 2010. Now here he worked with actors such as Jang Min Ho, whom he considers his mentor, and a man who continued to work as an actor well into his 80s. In fact, he worked until he was 85. Now Oh has collected an impressive number of awards over the years, including Best Actor in 1980, as well as Best Theatre Actor in 1994, and Best Actor at the International Theatre Festival again in the year 2000. Now, one of his biggest breaks in film and television was back in 1981, and this was in the 12th episode of a television show known as The First Republic. Now, here he appeared as a prosecutor at a military court where he tried a female spy. Now, at the time of his appearance, he was 38 years old, and to be fair, well, I'd say he was a pretty handsome dude back in his day. Now, his fellow actor, Lee Young Jai, who is the main character in Squid Game, well, he actually grew up a fan of Oh Young So. He watched his work on stage and on television, and as a student of the arts, well, he was a massive fan. Now, speaking with the Korean press about the uh, the influence that O oh had on his career, well, he had this to say. I've known O oh since the beginning because I was a person who went to see performance for a long time. It was nice. So that chemistry, that bromance these two characters have on screen, the fatherly son relationship, it sounds like it was happening off screen as well. Now, throughout O's career, well, he's done plenty of Korean stage adaptions of English productions like King Lear, A Streetcar Named Desire, The Merchant of Venice, and a play titled Confessions of a Black Prostitute. 
Now that one there, understandably, well, it caused a lot of local controversy, but he still went with it. According to the man himself, he had appeared in over 200 productions by the year 2013 alone. And well into his 50s, well, instead of slowing down, well, things only got busier, and he continued to do massive stage productions while also booking a ton of work on screen as a monk. Now, in fact, he's booked so much work as a monk in South Korea, people actually stop him in the streets to ask if he actually is one. Then when it comes to religion, well, contrary to expectations, he identifies as non-religious. In fact, he never even met with a monk in preparation for his work. I don't know, something about this guy, he's like, I'll just do it myself, I'm that good. And when asked by the Korean press on why he continues to work so much at the age that he's at, well, he stated, if it were any other job, I would retire from my current position, but I think I did well as a theater actor because I have to do something even when I got older. As for Squid Games, well, I can only imagine there was no one better to take on the role of player 001, Oh Il Nam, who as we all know now, well, he became a pivotal character throughout the entire story. Right from episode one, Green Light, Red Light, 001 was my all-time favorite character right out the gate. I mean, his love for the game and his pure joy that he showed on his face, it just had me at home smiling ear to ear. And then the Marbles episode, it's probably one of my favorites in the whole bunch. Uh, if you wanna know more about the creation of the show, it's like writer, it's director, and more on the actors, well, you can actually check out our Squid Game Before They Are Famous video, which we dropped last week. Actually, let's roll a short clip. Squid Game follows the story of gambling addicts or those who owe money to debt collectors that they could never possibly pay off. Now, desperate to no longer be destitute, the main character, he agrees to participate in a game with a hefty cash prize that would wipe away all of his debts. The only problem? Well, when he wakes up in his strange room with more than 400 other people, everyone quickly comes to realize that losing the game, well, it means they also lose their life. All right, so be sure to check out that video. Be sure to let us know who to feature next. Squid Game is becoming so massive. We're actually gonna be hitting you with more before their famous videos on some of the cast members. We also dropped one on the girl because, uh, well, she just took over the internet this week. As for where O's career goes from here, well, I guess that's a story for another day because this, after all, is before they're famous. My name is Mike McCrudden, and uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you're new, and I'll see you guys in another video. Boom!